In today's news, a special report on how electric companies are transforming America's lighting using the power of persuasion and the lure of the dollar. Lux Today for Wednesday, September 16th starts in just a moment. Stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today for September 16th. I'm Courtney Ferguson. Today we have a special report on how America's lighting is changing from traditional technologies to LED thanks to the efforts of the electric companies. In Oklahoma, for instance, the Public Service Company, or PSO, has reduced demand by 300 million kilowatt hours. Ray Maloney reports. Here in America, as across the world, utilities are finding that they're simply not allowed to build power stations. And so it's more effective for them to take kilowatt hours out of the system than to sell electricity to customers. It's called demand side management. And they're finding that the easiest way to do demand side management is with lighting. Because with lighting, you can make big and deep cuts in energy quite quickly. My job with our company is to reduce our demand across the state of Oklahoma. Um, we've worked hard with schools, churches, industrial buildings. We, we try to get to our small business customers. Our focus isn't just on Tulsa. We try to get out to our outlying regions. We have a lot of rural Oklahoma. Uh, we have a lot of oil and gas in Oklahoma, so we have some high demand. And with the easiest way to reduce that demand is to go with energy efficiency. Um, we've recently rolled out wind and solar, but we found that the cheapest and the most effective way is energy efficiency. And at the same time, the best approach for energy efficiency is lighting. We've, uh, across the state of Oklahoma, in, uh, since 2010, we've reduced 300 million kilowatt hours. And the lighting is a huge portion of that, and LEDs are driving the way. 50% of our projects in the state of Oklahoma in 2014 we're going from fluorescent to LED or metal halide to LED, and that number is climbing for 2015. We don't have our official numbers yet, but it should be probably 65 to 70 percent of our projects are LED lighting. Here at the BOK Center, uh, we're very happy to have the ability uh, to look at energy efficiency and, and working with PSO with the rebate, and they've helped us push everything to the forefront and actually making this project with our new LED lighting system an actual reality. We supplied the lighting here at the BOK. Uh, we got to install sports lighting as well as seat lighting. Uh, we lowered the energy by 70% uh, and the PSO rebate program helped push this program along, gave us a large portion of the project was actually paid for by the rebate, accelerated the return on investment uh, and made it a no-brainer to do the project right away. The benefits here at the BOK Center aren't just with the energy efficiency. They now have added controls, uh, elaborate scenes. We'll do paparazzi scenes, they'll do lightning effects, chase scenes around the building to really add uh, entertainment value, and then also make it easier for maintenance functionality for everybody running the facility here. Here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, there is a program available that allows uh, that allows the cities and the municipalities to change out HPS and metal halite fixtures with energy efficient LEDs. The, uh, light, the LED lights that have been changed out in the city of Tulsa are currently uh, reducing the uh, electric bill for the city at these select sites by two thirds. We're, we're, we're knocking about anywhere from 65 to 75 percent off the energy bill. Uh, we've also increased the light output. We've, we've made the, the lighting on the ground more uniform, and we've increased the uh, longevity of the fixtures. The fixtures right now are rated to last well over 120,000 hours. So they're gonna run 10 or 15 years, but before somebody has to come out here and, and either repair them or replace them. Uh, it's been very successful, and uh, without AEP or PSO's help, uh, it wouldn't have been possible. That wraps things up for us today. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day at luxreview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson for Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.